Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is our weekly angel message. Technically for the week beginning October 23rd, 2023. I'm getting this up a little bit late. If you don't know, I just moved across the country. I'm in a house now. I'm in the process of getting that all set up. And it is lovely. There's a lot to do, right? <laughs> now before we get into this week's message, let me give you an update on some of the offerings. Standard readings. Standard readings can be accessed at angelsouls444.com. A lot of people are going more towards the live readings now, so there isn't much of a wait over for the standard readings. If you want to get in and get your 1111 reading, that is an energy portal. It's about manifestation, higher realms, ascension, if you want to see it that way. But it can also be about hard-hitting lessons if you haven't been learning your lessons, right? So if you are interested in that type of reading, an angelic message, an Akashic Records reading, again, angelsouls444.com. Now, as far as the live offerings, doing live readings, uh, live sessions, like live courses, one-on-one -on -one training in how to connect with angels, angelic mediumship, again, there's the live readings, and how to connect with and work with Archangels Michael, Gabriel, and Metatron. These are all absolutely tailored to you. It's via Zoom. We go live one-on-one -on -one and you get your course. So for all of the live offerings, email me. It's just easier <laughs> so we can communicate back and forth. Angelsouls444 at gmail.com for the live offerings. All right. So let's get into this here. There is quite a bit going on in the world. I have been getting some messages for us to be aware of what's coming in November but I want to give you that heads up right now. Remember that we are in the destruction period. The destruction period is going to go from 2020 to 2024. And depending on whether we have collectively learned our lessons or not, it could stretch beyond that. But 2025 should be the beginning of a rebuilding phase. But through all of these catastrophes that have been happening in the world, uh, it's trying to get us to wake up and learn something about human nature, how we do things, learning things about ourselves. This is where a lot of loyalties are going to be tested. All right, so let's get these cards going here. All right, so for, oh, this is interesting. I don't know if you can see this artwork. I've never really used these cards before. But um, if you can see it, there's like a column of very faint light coming down around this person. And I was saying that 1111 coming up on that, this is an upgrade. It's an energetic upgrade, right? It's restoration if you've learned all your lessons. If not, you're still going through that. But this says energy, the number is 30, reduces to 3. This is a time to see past what is put in front of us, okay? Now, that is not in the you know, suspicious, I'm suspicious of everything because that's a low frequency and you're putting that out into the universe. Oh, I want truth. All well and good if you want truth, but then be a pure truth seeker, not someone who is ready to pounce. If, if someone, if you catch one little thing, you blow it out of proportion and claim that, you know, there's so much more going on behind the scenes and it's this and it's that. You're jumping to conclusions, Okay. We can't be doing that. We have to watch the energy exchange, what we're putting out there. What are we putting out there with our words? What are we putting out there with our thoughts? We're seeing the culmination of what we have manifested thus far. We're seeing this in world events. So it's time, yeah, to take a look at that. So this is believe, numbers 18 reduces to nine. Again, this ascension frequency, looking at what your beliefs are. That is going to contribute heavily to the energy that we're putting out there. Boy, if this isn't so far a call to watch and, and to help in the manner of energy output from the heart, from the soul. Remember, we come here to be the best human beings we can be, right? To try to elevate I'm, I, okay, so I'm getting this message, and then there's this other feeling behind it. Let me sit with this feeling. <sighs> I 
again, they're just giving me more feeling around this. That's why I'm taking a moment here with this. There's this feeling here of like, um, obviously we've been saying for years and years and years, the old way is not going to work. What does that actually mean? The hatred, fighting, you know, all these horrible, horrible things that we're doing to one another. You can't just sit there and complain about it. And this, the righteousness, yes, they're saying self-righteousness has actually gotten a lot of us off course. And the self-righteousness of I need to be right, um, the way I see things, the way I believe, is the only way to believe. And where belief and faith and all of that, it should be having this beautiful effect on us. It's getting twisted and there is conflict. And it's, I'm, I'm speaking lightly when I say conflict. Don't forget, I'm on social media here, so I have to be careful with what I say. Higher thoughts. So we have the number 10 reduces to one. We, we're being called to action here. Oops. Is there a glare on the card? Sorry. <laughs> we're back to shiny cards, right? Um, this higher thought is feeling like, not bypassing because see unfortunately in the spiritual community like especially new age stuff people love to sidestep they love to pretend like oh i'm this you know i'm so ascended i'm i'm so i've raised my consciousness i've raised whatever it's <laughs> it's a bunch of hooey okay that's what it is let me tell you why as i've said for years and years and years we're here to be human we are here to be human so it's okay to be human. It's not only just okay, you're supposed to be human. Yes. But part of being human is learning how to be a vessel for this higher frequency. Okay. How to be a vessel for, they're actually saying energy output to bring the energy out into the collective. Okay. That does not come from I'm going to lay it down. It doesn't come from always being positive. What about what? She said, what? This is why we don't like her. That's fine. <laughs> you don't have to like me, okay? This, it's nonsense. Okay, first of all, if someone tells you that they don't get angry and they don't have a bad day, they're selling some, okay? More often than not, they're trying to sell some uh, fronted sort of version of themselves to make it look like they're perfect. We have to, that's not gotten us anywhere, <laughs> right? Self-righteousness has gotten us nowhere. Fighting over belief systems gotten us nowhere. So the higher thought, and I would encourage, I'm getting this right now to give to all of you, I highly encourage you to do some meditation this week where you're working with the higher self. Work with the higher self, get into that realm. If you need help with that, that's why I'm a practitioner, okay? To help you break through any barriers to be able to access that. Let go of, I don't want to talk about this too, because I've seen a lot of stuff on, especially YouTube, where people are gravitating towards, I would say, lower frequency arts in the search for answers. Now, I know we can get stuck in our ego, okay? We can get stuck in our ego. We need this, the ego satisfying answers. And then we'll go on to the higher realms. This is specifically saying the way to liberate yourself is to quiet down that ego, quiet it down and find the higher, like this says, higher thought, right? And the number one, we've got three, we have nine, you know, all of these, they're pointing towards getting back to the authentic self, the true soul self. And doing some course correction. Now, so doing your part to emit an energy that goes out into the collective that can get us going in a different direction. Now, a lot of people like to sit there and say, oh, you know, pray for peace, pray for peace. When people say things like that, it doesn't mean anything. The universe is not stupid. Okay. It, <laughs> like, but, you know, it, it seems like such a silly thing to say. But people take the universe for stupid, okay? Like the universe doesn't know you're fake. Like the universe doesn't know you don't mean it. When we say pray for peace, we have to be coming from the heart. It has to start there. It emanates through the entire being. We need to be connected in 
to the entire soul self. That's what we get into the higher, what we call the higher self, if it's mental, whatever. Different dimensional self, okay? Not the human density consciousness self. However you want to see that, that's fine. But we have to get into that. And they're saying now, these the angels that are around here now, they're saying, then you will know why things are the way they are. Then you will know what needs to be done. Here's the problem. There are a lot of... Humanity has been immensely damaged. And there's been a break, even mentally, from reality. In the course of that happening, right, we're losing ourselves... We lock into, out of fear, we lock into a way of thinking. We lock into a way of doing things. We lock into a belief system because we think that that will protect us. If you miss the point and you're not actually connected on any sort of deep level, if you're not truly remembering that soul self, I like to refer to it as the God self, like the part that comes from God. If you're uncomfortable with that word, Maybe examine that. I don't know. What anger and hate are you carrying around with you? People love to throw stories around that and say, well, I don't, they'll say they don't like the word God because God has been, you know, used to harm others. And I don't disagree. I don't disagree. But are you really going to lock yourself out from source because humans messed it up? Messed up the idea? Messed up the access? Missed the point? Don't do that to yourselves. I know there's so many people in the New Age community. I don't know how I got thrown into the New Age community, but here I am. (laughs) Like, this is what we're doing. We gotta knock it off. Okay, if you grew up with a religion and you don't like it, okay. Like, you don't have to do that religion, okay? But don't lock out the, the love, the purity the God part because you're bitter. I'm not trying to diminish anybody's experiences. I know there could have been some horrible, horrible things. I understand that. But what do we rob ourselves of? Because we're really trying to reject the way it was presented to us. This reading so far is saying, hey, we've lost our way. Now, that does not mean that you have to like go to church Okay, like, I mean, if you want to, you can, but (laughs) that's not what we're saying here. What they're getting at is that we, uh, many people, they're saying, have fallen so deeply into these, uh, so gone so far into these narratives that they're, they're showing like a snapping away from what makes us whole. This is coming from them. Remember, I'm an angel medium, so the messaging is not, this isn't me talking. Well, I'm talking, but like, <laughs> but I'm bringing the messages through in this way. Don't get hung up on, and like, listen, I don't want to be disparaging about tarot readers. There's some really wonderful tarot readers out there. But at some point, if you're not balancing it with this type of reading, what are you doing? What are you doing? You are completely just looking at the surface. And yeah, that can be like, we still have to get along in life. All of my live clients, at some point, we have to approach this because we are all, you know, human beings. So we have to have a human existence and that's all well and good. It's all well and good to find a good, trustworthy, high, you know, an ethical, let's say, um, an ethical tarot reader, but that's just the surface. If you're going on YouTube and you're looking for, here's your signs, tarot reading, uh, like again, that's not bad. But <laughs> I, that was almost like a hocus pocus little thing right there. I don't know what that was. If you're just doing that, you're just serving your surface level life. If you are not going any deeper than what could potentially happen to you this week, you've missed the point. And we're getting the message here that we can no longer miss the point. We are, there's destruction in progress. And in order for us to step out of that, you need to be working on this part of you too. Okay. Source of life. So this is 36. We got another nine. Okay. Boy, if there isn't a calling to not 
again, I can't stress this enough, not in this weird new agey, self-righteous, oh, all the energy of the world, I just have to cleanse it. You're part of it, okay, bro? Like, if you weren't, you wouldn't be in these physical bodies, okay? Like, you'd be levitating across the floor. <laughs> Comment down below, what do I say when somebody's <laughs> levitating across the floor? If you get there, get video. I'd like to see it. I would love to see it. This is saying we need to step out. They're clarifying. Step out of the old way of thinking, obviously. But we have to stop fighting each other. And yeah, you can think of the horribly huge examples of that. Or you can think of how you're constantly in a power struggle with someone. How you always need to be right. How you can't take accountability for your mistakes. How you have to project onto everybody else how you're feeling. You're judging. Being condescending. I'll pray for you. It's because someone doesn't believe the same way you do. Now, if, listen, hey, yo, if somebody says, hey, Michelle, I'll pray for you, you know, to have the happiest life. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> right? But that's unfortunately not how people use that. This is the week where we're going to start seeing all the pitfalls. So we have Rose. Before I read this, Rose is a high frequency scent. And it is something that is often used in angelic practices, angelic readings, messaging. Because not only is it a symbol of blessings... But it cleanses your energy field and it brings the angels closer. It's a signal to the angels. I'm ready to, I'm ready to work. Now what's funny, think about this. And some of you may do this. Because we as humans, we can have negative associations with things. Sure, I, I get that. But really, like people who smell like rose oil, which is super, <laughs> it's harder to make than you realize. Like it takes a lot to make rose oil. If somebody is actually repelled by it, does that automatically mean that they are a bad person? Not necessarily. Now, if you know somebody is shady and like whatever, and they're like, yeah, I hate that. It stinks. Like, <laughs> whatever. Okay, maybe you, you got their number a little bit there. But um, somebody also could be in a very uh, low space because of their circumstances. And so you know, something high frequency, it's too much of a pull. It's trying, it's not giving them a gradual raising out of their situation or wherever they're at or however they're thinking and feeling, but it's yanking them out of it. That can be very aggravating and uncomfortable for some. Okay. But in general, Archangel Baracchio will put the scent of rose around you. If blessings are coming in, you might see a random rose petal when there were no roses around that sort of thing. But the whole point here is that I think Rose is coming up because it's saying, let us come in. Let us come in. Now, they do have some bit of authority to come in if things are really going off the rails. Okay? Like, you know, you, you know what that, well, it already is, I suppose. They do have some authority to come in and help in those situations. But they're saying that so many humans, because of how we've been taught, because of, you know sort of backlash against our past or against belief systems that have been used to harm or whatever, people are rejecting this idea of higher beings. When I say higher, it's just, we're talking about a frequency, okay? We all have a place in this universe, all equally important, but we deny that help. We deny them coming close or we think we're alone or we think we can't get along you know, like with, let me, let me break down. I was going to say, get along with receiving these messages and then implementing them. Me doing readings for people, especially now that I'm doing more of the live readings, there, is, there are constant examples of having to break through someone's ego before. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm just saying like, we're all human. We have the surface level stuff that we need to get through. But some just will not allow themselves to go any deeper because they're so afraid. Part of what I'm doing here, part of putting myself out there, whether people are watching this or not, and keeping up with this work, is to help people not be afraid. 
as much as I can do. That's not all on me. There are plenty of practitioners out there who are trying to do similar things. Okay. When you're in the fear, especially when it comes to angelic work, people are not familiar with this work. Not really. The people who are, they're gravitating towards, again, they have a tarot background or, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's a build on, it's an add on, <laughs> like an afterthought. Um, and I guess there's nothing wrong with that inherently, but what we do with it can become problematic. I'm going to read this rose card here, but this needs to be said. This is the message that's coming through. We're calling out to you. Let us in. Learn how to work with us. So it's not even about how do I call them in. You can call them in by, by just talking to them and giving them permission to come forward. It's the receiving part. That's why I have the Connect with Angels course to help people one-on-one, -on -one, the training, you know, the help them get familiar with that. And even in those sessions, there's a lot of either wanting to jump ahead and make it sound like it was such an incredible experience when I'm sitting there right there with them and I know they were struggling. But they, people don't want to admit that they were struggling. These are all the things, these are all examples of how the ego, which is now quite damaged at this point, can interfere. Now we can restore this. But we're going to hear of, oh gosh, that's not going to stop guys until we energetically stop it. And it's not this sort of thing of like, I command this to stop. <laughs> it, it, we manifest things in this humanity and in this world because of things we need to see about ourselves. So if you're constantly looking at others and saying, if they were just X, Y, and Z, you need to be looking at that within yourself. Okay. We're in a very narcissistic world because people are heavily damaged. She said, what now? I said, people are heavily damaged. And if you're somebody who won't admit that you're part of the problem, I've said this for years. Or if you're one of the types, well, you, you know, you don't have authority to speak on this or don't silence the victims. They're the case studies. They're the ones that professionals are studying so they know what they're talking about. Sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit. <laughs> so that they know what they're talking about. So that the professionals can actually practice. This is such a huge call. When we say wake up, waking up is taking accountability. Waking up is seeing what's going on in this world. And not just shaking your head and turning it away, but looking at what's going on in this world and saying, okay, I can start at home. I can start quietly. I can raise my own frequency, work on my own stuff, put love out into the world. If you're not authentic, God sees everything. And God sees everything. You can't fool the universe. The universe will always know if you are coming from the heart space, if you are being genuine, if you really want to put love out there or you really just want to be a good person or you want to look like a good person, there's a difference. The cards that are here talks about wisdom, quite a bit of wisdom. Wisdom is often quiet. Unless you're a teacher and you actually have to get up in front of people and you're teaching it. It's not something that people, if they're really in their wisdom, they're not bragging about it. They're not <laughs> being condescending to someone else. They're not being two-faced. It's quiet because I honestly, I don't know if I'm quite at the wisdom place myself, but the impression I always get is that there's already a deep understanding and they're so wise. They know it doesn't need to be spoken about. They know that some, in some cases, words could ruin the wisdom or it, it could put a different spin on it or change the wisdom in some way more than anything try to explain something that's unexplainable right so keep this in mind keep this in mind and how many people will not watch this video all the way through 
You know, maybe you just find me boring. That's fine. Okay. If you had to click off, <laughs> somebody had to click off because they think this is just boring and why do I need to listen to this? Okay. But how many, this is the point here. How many people turn away from the true help and a methodology that could actually bring them peace so they can put peace out into the world? You can't send love out if you're not loving yourself. You can't, it'll be inauthentic. There's a, there's a gap there. You can't send peace out if you're not at peace within yourself. What did your mind just do? Oh, so I have to handle all my stuff before I can send peace out? No. Peace can be immediate. But you need to connect for yourself before you can send anything out. The angels are coming through here and saying, you can't be messing around. You can't do this anymore. You just can't. Now, for people who don't want to take accountability on things, you're going to find that you feel like you're crumbling, okay? Because people are not going to let you get away with it anymore. Enablers are going to start waking up. People who are in awful situations are going to start waking up. And there will be backlash, of course. So be careful in this situation. Always be careful. Do whatever you can to protect yourself. And that's spiritually, mentally, emotionally, even financially if you have to. In those cases, yes, check with an expert in those areas. We're at a critical point here. And we can't keep going on the way that we have. And you sitting there, any of you who are just going and listening to your horoscopes. Again, this is nothing against astrology. I love astrologers. I love astrology. I just think it's hard. <laughs> so, <laughs> I would just rather stick with angel mediumship. Um, tarot readers, that's wonderful if they're ethical. But that, that's not your spiritual practice, people. That's not your spiritual practice. It's an esoteric art. That is fascinating, can be enlightening, can get you thinking in a different way, but it doesn't end there. If you know somebody who could hear this right now, let them know. Let them know. Okay. Or if you, again, if you don't like my style, that's great. Go find, make sure they're ethical. I always say that. Make sure they're ethical, but a great angel practitioner that lines up with how you like to have messages delivered. Okay. So this is Rose, attract a relationship. The number is six. Eh, I mean, I guess you could take it that way. That's not why I felt like this card came out. I think it came out because angels were asking you to call them in. And the six is the material world. It's the material world. Now, if you're sitting there going, I don't want to listen to all this. I, I want to know if I'm going to have a relationship. Goodbye. If you're not going to help, get out of the way. If you're not going to listen, get out of the way. You'll have to learn on your own. All we do here is try to get people to remember themselves, to tap into this frequency that constantly, <coughs> pardon me, constantly tries to get shut down out in the world. Why would there be so much effort to shut it down? Because it's powerful. Receive this message like this. Listen to it. Don't overthink it. It isn't about using the intellect here. You try that, you're going to come up short. That's not what this is. It's the brain, the mind, the heart, the gut. Your whole being. Experience the message. Don't think about it. Don't even feel it out. I mean, that's helpful. Experience it. If you try to make this logistical, you're going to miss the point. Remember what we said at the top of the reading? You can't be missing the point anymore. So we'll leave it there. I am now back to putting the dailies up. So we'll get little, you know, card draws there. <sighs> Listen to this. Let it set. Come back to it listen again. Every time you listen to this, something else is going to ping within you. And more and more, you're going to start awakening. It's not what you think. If you see, this is one of the biggest ways we shut out angelic 
messaging and advice and help. Because we think we know how it should look. And if it doesn't look exactly like that, then this stuff doesn't work. It's not about it working for you. It's about you opening up and realizing some hard truths about yourself. There's liberation in that. That's what they're trying to tell us. It's not a punishment. It's not them being upset with you. They don't do that. Okay? Again, that's being pulled from other esoteric arts that are more fourth dimensional energies. Angels don't have an ego. They don't even really have names. No, they don't. What about Arcane Gamer? Well, they were... <laughs> They were made to help us. So they knew, God knew the design of these brains. So we were going to need things in a nice, neat little package that matches up with our duality consciousness with labels so that we can understand. Plus, we can only take archangelic energy in little doses. That's why they have their, their, I keep air quoting, I'll stop. Uh, that's why they have their little list of duties. They're actually all connected. Okay. So no, they don't need a name. They don't need that. That's for us. No, they don't have genders. If I don't care if anybody has been out there for a gazillion years and they come in and say, I do angel stuff and I say they have genders. It's a lie. Okay. It's a lie. They don't have genders. Dang it. Okay. They don't. Now, does that make them an awful practitioner? No, it's probably because <laughs> this got weird. <laughs> this went really weird, but they might just be <laughs> used to perceiving them in in gender okay so yeah i i think i'm off the rails already but anyway we will leave it there please make sure that you <laughs> besides this last part take this seriously okay show somebody who needs to hear this because the craziest thing be people who are like i don't believe in that stuff i'm not into that stuff i'm not saying you have to believe like me i'm not saying you even have to go down this road, right? As long as you're a good person in your day-to-day -day life, awesome. Okay, that's what we're going for. That's it. But if people are rejecting these types of messages because it goes against their agenda or it goes against how they want to live or they, you know, are too fearful to be out of their fear, <laughs> right? like they're afraid of compounding the fear, I mean, those are the kinds of people that are putting an energy out there that is causing, I'm not saying that like people get into a, a low space and they're causing war. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying though is that we, we ping off of each other. We have to be careful with what we're putting out there. And it, but at the same time, it has to come from a very genuine place. And it can't come up from a genuine place until you've looked at your experiences. And instead of going, oh, I can't believe that happened to me. Poor me, poor me. Understanding what was behind it. What did it teach you? That's the important part. Okay? We're going to leave it there. Leave your comments down below. I'm sending you all so much love. And take care.